Designer Notes, Subject 49. This video is brought to you in part by Zealous Watches. Among Us No, not that popular video game that all the kids are raving and raging about, but the actual idea of Among Us. Among Us commoners with our budget timepieces are people who actually created their own watch brand, we just don't bother to look around for them. These are brands that are actually not just good, but better than many brands that are above us or above our reasonable budget. One of them is Zelos and its new Horizons 39mm Diver. While you're looking this way, allow us to show you why it's actually an above us diver. Zelos is founded by Elshin Tang in 2014. After the successful Kickstarter campaign, Zealous rapidly grew in notoriety and watch offerings. Known for its cutting-edge design and use of materials, Zealous continues this philosophy with the Horizon Stabber 39mm. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us on Instagram at Design Atelier Aruba for behind-the-scenes content. Submit your pics and videos to designatelierviewer at gmail.com. The case width is 39mm with a lug-to-lug -lug length of 44mm. Many consider the 39mm as the Goldilocks case size as 39 sits right in the middle of commonly big or small wrists. The lugs measure at 20mm which is one of the standard lug measurements. These lugs also help with the slimmer profile by having their narrow tapers. This kind of lug shape is commonly associated with vintage aesthetics. From the sides, there are already a lot of great things to glean upon. We are treated with a 10.5mm slimness with a very appealing case curve. This is not your run-of-the-mill curve. There are tasteful flourishes of mirror polishing on curved chamfers that sandwiches the satin finished side. It's subtle but quite exquisite. The curved line also extends to the actual thickness of the bracelet, which is a sign of design proficiency. This contrasts nicely with the fine circular brushing at the top and bottom of the case. These chamfers visually minimizes the already reasonably thin profile of the watch. There are no crown guards here, but it's perfectly fine. This actually reminds many of the longtime list favorite, the Tudor Black Bay. The crown is also signed with the logo beautifully polished over a fine matte background. This is just the first of the many areas of this watch that showcases Zealous' ability to manufacture. This logo is so crisply milled and sharp that this kind of details is unheard of at this price point. The crown is threaded and decently easy to unscrew. It unscrews tight and smooth. There is little to no crown wobble. The case back also has multiple levels of texture and finish. The customary circular brush is there, etched details, milled carvings, and matte finishes are all visible in the case back. There is also a serial designation of the limited run of 100 for this piece, with this specific unit being number 3. This case does not have drilled lugs, but this is unnecessary due to the clever bracelet features. The Horizons Diver comes in three different variants, and this one here is the Ocean Blue. All of these new Horizons come with unique textured dials that are a fusion of fume, sunburst, and gloss finishes. This plays with any light at all angles. The glossy areas may be distracting on some angles, but it certainly adds to the unique kind of luster on the dial that we've never seen before. There is an applied logo at the 12 o'clock position, which is finely polished that appears either black or shiny depending on the angle. This is a great design choice that separates it apart from the textured dial. At the 6 o'clock position, we see the Horizons branding with the red-lettered 200 meter or 660 feet water resistance rating. 
Below this is a frame date window. The numerals in this window is also color matched to the Fumé dial, which is another conscious design choice. It's rare to see a manufacturer actually match the numerals of the date to the specific dial, especially in such limited runs as this piece. And of course, you know how I like my dates at 6. All the indexes are applied with fine beveled polish with strong applications of C3X1 Loom. The 3, 9, and 12 markers are all triangular markers that is a signature of most zealous watches. Around the dial are the minute markers that are perfectly legible but not loomed. The sword hands are broad enough to tell the time without sacrificing some style with a red tip seconds hand. This red tip aligns perfectly well with the tips of the hour markers, which is a welcome sight to all alignment addicts like us. All of them are loomed and distinguishable from each other because of their varying shapes. The dial is covered with a box sapphire crystal, giving this a definite vintage watch vibe. However, it's not as boxed as the Horizons GMT released by Zelos previously, but that's also okay. The bezel insert is also made of sapphire that provides a clear view of the inscriptions below and ample scratch resistance. This bezel has a very contrasting print of BGW9 Loom that provides a summery color. Pair that with the teal color of the dial and we are looking at a very uniquely themed diver. This dial and bezel is equally if not more interesting in the dark as the indexes light up green along with the blue glimmer of the bezel. Actually, it's quite beautiful. The bezel grooves provide sufficient grip to turn the ratcheting bezel, but may be too narrow for thicker fingers. As adult fidget spinners go, the ratcheting bezel is very solid and loud to the turn. There is a clear heaviness to the bezel as a metal component. Compared to other bezels that feel slight as it is being operated, we have a clear winner here. The bracelet has a 20mm lug width which tapers to 18mm to the clasp. This makes it very easy to replace with aftermarket bracelets or straps. To further make things convenient, Zelos equipped these bracelets with twin quick-release spring bars. In keeping with convenience, there is a quick-adjust clasp extension that ratchets in place as a micro-adjustment. There's more to this bracelet. It's solidly built, being milled and adequately decorated with various finishes. The dual trigger mechanism provides worry-free security and needs to be both pressed to be released. The clasp also has a thin profile providing comfort even under sleeves. All the links have a polished chamfer that goes against the brushed finish. Each adjustment link is fastened with screw pins making also resizing quite labor-free. This is quite a feature-packed bracelet that one could even wonder how Zealous can offer this at such a price. When put beside another Swiss watch with a comparable price point like Tissot, the quality of the clasp is worlds apart. Tissot clearly skipped on the quality with a thinner and merely pressed bridge compared to the milled clasp of the Horizon. Actually, this kind of milled clasp is more comparable to the modern Submariner, although of course the material and finish of the Submariner is on a whole new different level. The movement is a Miyota 1915 movement. It has a 25 joule automatic caliber with a 42 hour power reserve. The movement is widely attainable and considered a workhorse movement. It has the basic functions of time and date powered by a unidirectional rotor. There are many reports of this rotor being wobbly and noisy, but this is not present with this model. Replacement for this movement typically runs for $100 and should be serviceable enough by any competent watch repairman. Do not expect chronometer grade accuracy here with 10 to 30 seconds per day deviation, but of course that's not what we buy these watches for. Zealous spared us the trouble of seeing this movement with the display case back, but in all respects is a better decision and adds to the vintage aesthetics of the timepiece. It's clear that Zelos watches are one of the best valued watches out there, but 
When most brands are content with focusing on the watch, Zealous goes the extra mile by offering a wooden presentation box and a signed leather roll that is not only thick and well upholstered, but also equipped with a robust buckle. Even their warranty card is made of metal. What more is there to ask? But finally, and certainly not least, their customer service is known to be not just one of the best among microbrands, but even the whole watch industry. Customers are generally satisfied with the service and quick response. There's even some cases where the second-hand owners were accommodated by Zillow's customer service. Try asking that from other watch brands. Here's looking at you, Seiko. If we haven't said enough, the Horizon Diver is one of the best divers released in 2020 for its price range. It's feature-packed, yet affordable, and it's uniquely designed, yet touches on all of the vintage vibes that we've all grown to love. Zealous built a bustling community around these great releases. In one popular livestream, some of the fans even wondered amongst themselves if Zealous could have chosen to ship these watches in a less decent packaging instead of the luxurious wooden box and roll. Then maybe they could have recuperated some of the well-deserved margin on the bottom line. But they didn't. They valued the community more than every penny to the dollar. This kind of reputation and attention to quality keeps the value of these watches reasonable even in the gray market. Something very remarkable even for the above average watch brand. With the new Horizons Diver, 12 hours and fields, Zelos could have certainly commanded top dollar to play above us. But instead, it continued to stick with its smaller roots and play among us commoners. And we're certainly glad they did. And finally, Jason the Watch Guy. Uh, before we move on, Jason the Watch Guy also has a YouTube channel. He offers very unique reviews of homage watches and original watches in his collection and what he has handled before. It's something that we truly uh, appreciate and something that you too might, might like. So subscribe to his channel. And he, this is what he he commented in our in one of our videos. Man, I wish my thumbnails were as slick as yours. Great video too. Well, in fact, actually, you can have such uh, good thumbnails. I don't want to like, say my thumbnails are good, but I also follow a certain formula that attract people's attention. As a graphics designer, it is our point of interest to catch the eye of people because otherwise you won't be hiring us in the first place. Now, I employ that in my thumbnails too. There's no big secret there. If you look at my thumbnails, most of them are predominantly blue. You see our logo, there's blue in there. And also the watches that, most of the watches that we feature nowadays are blue because that's just the trend. And now what's the most complementary color to blue? In color theory, it's going to be orange and yellow. So basically that's all that I do. I just pick out the watch and see what makes the predominant color in there and then make a background out of it. Yeah. But that's not always the case, but that's a big part of what catches the people's eye. And if you look at all of the other thumbnails in YouTube, you'd see like videos, uh, what you mean, you'd see pictures, monotone or skin tones but you don't have those vibrant popping colors. And that's what we try to take advantage of. Again, that's no secret. It's something that the graphics designers uh, usually employ to, to get people to uh, look at their posters, look at their advertisements. But more importantly, thumbnails aside, it's really the content that, that really matters. You have some great content, content Jason, and people need to, uh, to see that. And the more that you learn from a, visual aesthetics, the, the better the content you will have. And we're also trying to improve in our visual content. We're also con constantly trying to improve where 
we can with the budget that we have, with the equipment we have, and we're all growing here. And we're happy that um, uh, to help anyone, and it's something that's not a secret. And the more we help, the better the whole community develops as well. Thank you so much for tuning in for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe for content that you'd like to see next. Follow us on in Instagram at Design Atelier Aruba for behind the scenes content that you don't normally see in this channel. If you want to submit your pictures and videos of you or your, your watches, just submit it to Design Atelier Viewer at gmail.com. So until then, have a pleasant one.